guys, it's Cool JJ back at it again with a DIY video. Today we are making da -da -da, duct tape wallets. Duct tape wallet. A duct tape wallet. It's pretty easy. This one only took me about 15 minutes. If you oh just a reminder, if you hear any background so sound, it's just my friend with me. I'm still feeling sick. Don't subscribe to her, even though she has no stuff. But anywho, let's get on with it. What you need for this video is scissors, paper, and of course, your main thing, duct tape. And little duct tape if you want it. If you want it to make little pockets, like great, like great shield and stuff. But yeah, so let's get on with it. So first off, you want to take your paper, and you want to choose your inside color. I'm doing a double-sided wallet, so you want to choose the inside color, which I'm going to be doing tie-dye, like my other wallet. You just want to pull the tape like you regularly pull duct tape, like stuff like that. And then you want to make it the size of your paper. After that, you just want to like keep repeating that and stuff. I had a little trouble with this part because duct tape is really annoying, like super annoying to me. And it's like it hates me, it doesn't want me to do anything. So that's why I'm just cutting it. And I didn't have good scissors, so I had to tear it. So it looks really, really bad corners and stuff. So you just want to keep doing that for your whole paper. And then we just move up the next step after that. Once you're done with that, you want to flip it over and do the color you want for the other side, which will be the outside of the wallet. Once you're done with that, it probably would have taken me a long time. I should have warned you at the beginning of the video, but too late for that. You want to fold it in half. This is just to see if you did like the right size of your stuff. This is not going to be the actual size of the wallet, but you just want to fold it and then you're going to do the regular wallet. Since we're going to make it pocket size, you just want to open the actual one and then you want to put the other one and then you want to put, take some scissors and carve a line where you're going to cut. Once you don't want that, you just want to cut where you carve or make a mark. Just want to cut it and you want to cut the other side. Keep those straps and you're not going to need them. Keep them away. Then you want to fold it like you're gonna have your wallet. And yeah, that's really mostly it for that part. But there is one more part. Right now I'm just uh, getting the other, just cutting it and trimming it and stuff. So what you want, since we're doing you want to take your, you want to do a different color border on all the sides and stuff. You want to put the duct tape on all sides of it. Then you just want to fold it and then take the tape you want on the side, which will be holding them both sides together. And then you just want to cut a piece of tape and tape down both sides. Like this, like fold it in half on the side. Once you're done, just cut the edges, and then you'll be done with that side, and then you just want to do it for the other side also, and cut the slit in the middle and the inside of the wallet so it doesn't like it's stuck closed. So you just want to do that for both sides. Try to make it even too, because it doesn't look good when it's uneven, and it's uneven, it's just bad. If it doesn't, they can also get good scissors for this. Cut the inside, so yeah. And once you've done that, you're done with your wallet. I don't have time to make the little pockets, but that's fine. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And if you want more like this, leave a like and comment and subscribe. Bye!